Welcome to our Rich Ants channel. Rich channel. So we're excited. We have lots of fun ant news. We're going to check on our ants. We have test tubes to put some, move some of the ants into for new homes. Um, and we also found some harvester ants near our house. If it rains any time in the next little while, what are we going to go do, Ben? See if we can find a queen. See if we can find a queen. Harvester ants are pretty cool. Oh, when we look, went, we I saw them when I was out running, so it took the boys back to go gather some worker ants so we could identify them. And what do we see them doing? What were they eating? Grass seeds. Seeds. So harvester ants are called harvester ants because they collect Look. seeds. Um, Look. And they actually have. Oh. And the reason why scientists think the reason why they're big. Do you have the ant? Are you looking are at it? With larger animals because usually their grass seeds, their grass seeds make them a target of mammals because they have greenery. So. Yeah, because they collect the grass seeds, mice and other things break in their ant hills. So they actually have the most toxic venom in the world, most toxic venom that's ever been measured in terms of lethality to humans. Fortunately, they don't give you very much. And that's what Sam's playing with. Um, yeah, so it's not a, yeah, that's what Sam's playing with. So it's not a medically significant bite. It is one of those up there on the Schmidt Pain Index. We're talking, oh, Sam dropped the, the ant's dead. Um, we froze them so we could look at them without being stung. But uh, it's one of those that I think the, the Pain Index describes it as eight hours of something drilling into you. So it is quite painful. <laughs> it's okay, Sam. It's the ant's not going to get you. We were scared when we dropped it on us. So anyway, so those are the red harvester so ants. The They're picture? pretty cool. We would like to get a queen to collect them, and I'll take um, but we don't have them yet. No. So um, we had to identify them with the magnifying glass. We think no. they're just western no. red, the Pagana Murmex no. Occidentalis or something. Um, we think that's what they are. Um, based on a key online. So now let's go check on our ants. Before we check our ants, when we do it, we're going to move them to new homes. So we didn't. Have, we got our new test tubes in. So we've got a full thing of test tubes over there on the bookshelf. So the best way to do the ants, um, what you typically do with the queens. Here, look back over here, right? So you have the water. So this is filled with water. There's a cotton swab. So the water doesn't come out, and then you put another cotton swab in there, and the ant will just live in this little area right here. Um, it keeps it humid, and it keeps them enclosed. Now, since we kind of have them in jars and other random things, I'm going to try and get them get them to move to the test tubes um, over a period of time. So here, I've got a test tube. It's all in construction paper. Ben, help me do this. So we've got a construction paper. It's full of water halfway through, just like this one. That's not you know covered up yet. Um, but it's dark and so what we're going to do is as we take the first ant out because we're going to do them one at a time so I can just use this one container we'll put it in there and the queen's going to move her and all of her eggs into the dark spot because she's not going to be comfortable out off in the light but so should we go check the ants out now yes okay let's go see let's do the first one and I want to move this one first because I'm concerned that she's going to run out of um, run out of water in her initial thing. Here's, here she is, Sam. So here's the initial one. She's just got a little bit of water right there. And you probably can't see here. Whoa, I just knocked her over. She She's got a big batch of eggs. That she, She's got a little white thing in her mouth. It's a big mass of eggs that she's moving around. Okay. So... I'm actually going to unplug this one. I'm going to unplug this. Can you see down the tunnel? No, it's this is not focusing as well as my phone did. You can't see down that? You, you have to move it in and out to get it to focus. You can see a little, but... Okay, would you like to do this? Okay, so we're going to go ahead and set them down in next to each other. I don't think you can see. But. So we're going to set them next to each other, and I'm hoping to get her to move to that other test tube there. 
So we're gonna go ahead and set this back on the thing. Now it helps that uh, Tetramorium are not really avid climbers and I'm not particularly worried about her climbing out. But you can see, you can see. Is that cool? So let's go put this back up here on the like for a second. Do you like ants? Okay, so hopefully you can get her to move. Okay, so let's look at our next batch. Hey Sammy. I see you. This guy I want to move to. These guys I see are using you. a little. Huh? So this one's a little clearer to see. You see that queen ant right there? And similarly, she's got a lot of eggs. You see him right there? Can we see him? Yeah. Kind of. Oh, I kind see of. You. It's fuzzy, but. Okay, well, there's lots of eggs, so she's doing good. As soon as I can get the first one to move, I'm going to do the same thing with this jar. I'm going to try and get her to move into uh, the other test tube that's color mm. covered up. But for the moment, I'm not going to do that. We're going to try and do it just one at a time mm -hmm. and see how we can get things going. Now last, yeah, the very last I batch of ants that we got just more recently, a set, a set of six queens. Here we are. Six queens in here, and they have, as you might guess, a massive chunk of eggs. Because they, uh, you know, have six queens in there. So they're all laying eggs. Now we are going to want to separate these guys though. And the reason we want to separate them is uh, they do cooperate for now. They cooperate on the founding of the colony but not the running of a colony. So what's going to happen is they cooperate and take care of the eggs. But as soon as the first worker is hatched, all war is going to break out. And we will no longer have six queens. We will have one queen, at most one queen. Hopefully they don't kill, kill each other off. So that's our ant video for this week.